Hi everyone, Trisha here from the Five Waiting Wombs, and today we are going to talk about how to prepare for your first infertility appointment. Um, we made a few videos a while back talking about when you should see, um, see a specialist. Now we're going to talk about what you can do to prepare. And these are just a few key points and some tips that has helped me when I first started seeing a, a specialist for my infertility. And it's something that may help you too. So hopefully this is not a, a really lengthy video. I'm just going to go over a few of the key points and tips with you. Um, so first and foremost, when you are preparing um, to see your physician for the first time, um, if you haven't already, start taking your prenatals, um, multivitamin for your partner. Um, you want to maintain a healthy diet and um, uh, exercise, and you're going to want to start tracking your cycle. So if you are, um, for instance, trying to conceive and it's only been 9, 10 months or so, um, the sooner you track your cycles before that one year mark, for, for example, the better. Um, that way you have something to show your doctor. And another thing to have is a trying to conceive timeline. This is actually mine and I have to actually have to update it. But it basically talks about um, uh, my menstrual cycles or my lack of menstrual cycles and gives a little bit of information, um, background information on me and uh, my husband. So some of the things you want to keep on your trying to conceive timeline, and you can do this on your computer, your word processor on your computer, or you can even do it by hand, but it's very important that you have um, some kind of list with you um, before you see your physician, because at times we can forget to give our doctor any information, we can get nervous, um, and forget to ask questions, and so on and so forth. So you're going to want to have that on paper, that way you can go down the list and um, tell your doctor um, about your background history. So some of the things you might want to have on your t trying to conceive timeline is how long you've been trying to conceive, um, any medications you're taking or were taking such as birth control, um, how long your cycles are, if you have any cycles, if they're very irregular, um, the flow, if it's heavy, light, or just when you have your cycles. And also any other signs and symptoms that you think may relate to infertility. So if you do some research and you're suspecting that you have PCOS, um, you might want to look at the signs and symptoms um, that your body is having, such as you might have um, excess hair growth, you might have a significant weight, weight gain within a short amount of time, um, also you may have acne. So if you think that, there, that you have a problem that relates, signs and symptoms that relate to um, infertility, you're going to want to write that down and tell your doctor your suspicions. And then also um, your family history of infertility that goes for you and as well as your partner. Um, so those are some things that you want to keep on your trying to conceive timeline. And um, when you do go to your first appointment, you want to, of course, ask questions. You want to tell the truth. You don't want to lie to your doctor because that can um, end up hurting you in the long run, you know. You want to let your doctor know everything about um, you and your um, medical history. Also, um, you want to, I would suggest, carrying a little folder to keep all your information in here and a little notepad and of course you're trying to conceive timeline. And also, um, when you're at your appointment, take notes and um, be prepared for some blood work because some it depends on the doctor you might go in and they just might talk to you it might just be a consultation but sometimes after your appointment they like to do blood work and they can check your glucose um, levels they can check um, your progesterone your estrogen and a lot of other things like that so you know it all depends on your doctor you might just start off um, getting blood work done um, getting um, a seam analysis or HSG before they start you on any medication but it all varies from doctor to doctor so um, that's about it um, on how to prepare for your first infertility appointment um, and from this point on you want to surround yourself with a good support system because your infertility journey can um, be short it can be something uh, si a simple problem that you may have or it can go on for a long time, more than a few months or even a few years, um, and I'm, I myself and I'm fast approaching um, three years of trying to conceive and um, two years of medical intervention. So you want to prepare yourself for that and um, 
have a good support system. So that's about it for me, and I will talk to you guys next week. If you guys have any questions, feel free to send us a message. Bye.